ChatGPT is holding back. Find the article and read it for yourself. I'll include the link in the description. Now, if you're just using ChatGPT for general conversation because you're bored, lonely, whatever, or you just want a quick answer to, you know, a quick question, you don't have to do this. However, if you're going to use it for something a little more deep, maybe you should use these four prompts to help you. Now, these four prompts do work on the free side, which is what most of us are probably using, but it does work better on the paid side. Go figure, right? Prompt number one, think before you answer. We should all do that. Prompt number two, debate yourself. Yeah, we all have internal dialogue like this. Structured thinking. This is where it pulls citations for you. So you kind of know where the source of the information is coming from. And lastly, step by step. So if you need a step by step instruction, this is what you tell it to do and it will give you detailed step by step. Sometimes you don't get that if you don't tell it to do that. Definitely a good article, well worth reading and then taking what you've learned there and go over to ChatGPT and give it a try for yourself. Fair warning though, if you give it a deep, complex subject, it's going to take a moment before it replies. So let's see how it works. Using all the prompts, we're going to ask it the question, who is or was the best U.S. president of all time? there you go but we kind of already knew this right <laughs> I'm just saying so yeah there you go you didn't have any doubts did you <laughs>